A common thing during my weekly Tuesday for Hollow stream is to impale Reda with some harpoons. He's the only good reason to boot up the game between big updates, as every week there's a chance he might sell a special item from the Helix store that you don't have yet. But the chances of that happening have been reduced significantly in the last few months, with sometimes a nice item here and there in the daily selection, as very nicely tracked by T Elf in our Discord community. But more often than not, there's nothing exciting for sale and this will only get worse with the brand new packs that are coming out. So I want to discuss these issues and compare the system to Far Cry 6 where we have a similar shop that is way more generous and exciting. So of course if you enjoy the Valhalla content here on the channel then leaving a like to support the channel would really help me out and let's go. But before we get into it a word from our sponsor Surfshark that makes the content on the channel possible. It's my go to VPN as you likely know it's available on multiple devices and I mostly like to use the Google Chrome extension yes it's right there and with one simple click I'm connected to a different IP address and this makes sure that everything I do on the internet is private and not linked to my own IP address so this protects me from hackers who are using spyware phishing or malware and it's of course also nice to change your locations so you're able to see content that is not available in your region. The Netflix UK offering is namely completely different than what we see in the US and with one simple click you can change it and watch a ton of other stuff that is not available for you normally. Surfshark has more than 3000 servers in 65 countries and then I've got a special Black Friday deal for you where you get 83% off and 4 extra months for free if you get Surfshark via the special link in the video description. Doing so will support the channel as well so thanks for checking out Surfshark it's really really great and now let's get back into it. There are now hundreds of Helix items that can appear in the 6 weekly Red Ass slots. So the chances of something really cool appearing there are already really small combined with the fact that Ubisoft is gatekeeping certain special and most wanted items. For one, brand new armor sets appear maybe two months, three months after they launch in the Helix store. And even then, the cool items from that item set might never appear. It took six months before we saw a wolf mount in Reda shop when it was already available at the launch. And a month after that wolf mount released, we had a Drake skin for our bird in the Helix shop, but that has never appeared once at Reda. Like if you do the math, 365 daily items in one year and 365 times 6 weekly items in a year. Like this dragon skin should already have appeared a couple of times if this system was indeed random. Also during Halloween, out of nowhere we got the Draugr helm for the first time, which perfectly fits Halloween. Coincidence? Well, likely not. And also when Ubisoft released a lion mount, that is when the wolf mounts started to appear. So they made a brand new mount, wolf mount is not new anymore, okay, then we put it at Reda. In short, they have full control and that really hurts this so-called random system. But it will only get worse from here if they don't do anything soon. So this first day we had a Dark Knight item, I think for the first time at Reda. A really cool new set, but just like many armor sets, you need to have five pieces before you can trigger the unique effect which is almost impossible to get at Reda. Like we're now seeing one piece two months after the set has come out with no indication when the rest will show up so we will likely never be able to trigger this effect. It is a pretty cool perk by the way once you get hit or you block an incoming attack you get a stack and after five of these stacks a cool explosion triggers that deals damage to surrounding enemies and increases the damage they take by five percent. Okay that five percent is not a lot but, and this major problem number two, this debuff on enemies can stack by using the wing X and the black shield, which are two weapons that come with this item back. So if you have those weapons, you can go to 15% damage increased against enemies, which is more useful. But yeah, you already guessed it, getting the full set of the Dark Knight pack will almost be impossible let alone getting these two Dark Knight weapons to go alongside it. And the stacking system also means that when these weapons show up, but you do not have the other items, then they are pretty much useless, as the 5% damage increase against enemies is not really good, while 15% can totally help. So this seems to be a tactic moving forward. So want the full benefit from the new item pack, then you need to equip the full armor set and use the two weapons too. We see it with the upcoming Shinobi 
be back as well. The final perk says increase speeds to maximum, but only if you use the two katanas that come with the item set too. Yeah, this also means that when you do get the katana via Reda, likely half a year from now, then you only have 10% crit chance, while if you also get the full armor set and the other katana, it's 20%. This even sucks for people who do spend money on the game because you're kind of forced to buy the full item pack because then you get the best perks. While if you just want to spend a few hundred helix credits on the katana, it's significantly worse. Let alone the fact that they are just eliminating build variety. I want to combine certain gear pieces and get a fun build out of that. No, they're now saying you have to use these weapons and this armor set. Otherwise, these perks are pretty much useless. And it gets even worse because what they're also doing is giving us two variants of of these new armor sets. There's a gold and silver variant of the steampunk armor and an oni and knight version of the new shinobi set. Which is pretty nice because if you do decide to buy the item pack you get two like separate armors with slightly different perks but for the Reda system this a nightmare because this means that when a shinobi gear item appears there's a 50% chance that it's not for the gear set that you are collecting. So then it will take even longer to get a full gear set. And I'm just baffled by how they're treating Reda now and are seemingly making it even worse and impossible to save up for something you want when in Far Cry 6 they are way more generous. Brand new weapons that are only part of Far Cry credit bundles have been coming to this Reda like store every week. There are no daily items so when you see the factor for sale which is not in the main game or the cool double O pistol then you got one week to collect the in-game currency and get it. Easy as that. Also, getting Moneda, which is basically the Opal equivalent in Far Cry 6, is way easier. There are no caps per week, so you can just farm it and get everything you want. And there are also way more ways to get it too. And in Far Cry 6, gear items have a singular perk and no set bonus. So when they are selling one gear item of a particular set, you can already get nice benefits without having any other pieces of that gear set. It's a way more exciting and player friendly system. Earning Moneda to buy these items is actually fun. It's really the complete opposite. How can this be the same Ubisoft? Because it is 100% clear that this system is based on Reda from Valhalla. Now I have my theories, but I want to focus on what I think Ubisoft can do to improve Reda in Valhalla right now. Because we know they are listening, they changed the system before from 3 pieces to 6 pieces per week. So hopefully they got some changes planned because this can't go on like this. So my big tip would be bring back Sargon. He is our man, he won't let us down. I don't like Reda anymore, I at least want to see Sargon in this game. Thanks everyone for watching. Okay, <laughs> Sargon was pretty greedy too, but he did have something that Reda in Valhalla did not have. Heck, Reda in Origins had this too, a random element. If you are gatekeeping all these items, let us at least try our luck and spend Opal on a Jar of the Gods or something like that to get a random item. So basically bring back the Olympian Gifts or Hecka Chest so that when Reda is selling crappy things, we still have a chance to get something cool. Another thing that would be nice if we at least know what will be added each week. So at least one weapon, at least one mount, at least one gear piece. So that we at least know that every week we can expect a certain item. Now it's random, now we can have weeks with only crap like we have right now. If we know there's gonna be a new weapon each week, that should be great. Another thing that would be nice is a community voted slot each week. So that every week you name four anticipated items in a Twitter poll and then we can vote and then the item that wins appears at Reda. That way we feel like we have more control and we at least know there's something exciting each week. Or let us work towards something that Reda is like, hey, you got one Dark Knight item piece? Okay, if you give me set amount of Opal, I will give you the next item piece. So that you know that if I collect this amount of opal i will be able to get the full set your takes are of course more than welcome to in the comments down below it's a balancing act they want people to spend money obviously and i get it it costs a lot of money to give us all this free content but i think having a happy player base will help increase the profits and if you just give away way more stuff, I'm sure more people will feel inclined to pay for things they don't have. We know the new daily contracts are coming, that will at least make getting Opal more exciting, but if there's nothing to spend it on, then why bother? 
we will soon get a year two announcement where they will ask us to spend 30 to 40 dollars for new expansions. I really think that an improved Reda system should be part of this future that they announce to make the game more exciting in between updates. Like, it can't go on like this. If Ubisoft announces any changes or year two content, I'll of course let you know here. So subscribe to miss nothing. Check out Surfshark, find the link in the pinned comment. A like on the video would really help me out. And did you find all the artifacts in the tombs already? If not, we made a video about it, which you find on my brand new Assassin Raptor channel. Go there, check the video out and totally subscribe. That would really mean a lot. For now, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.